Can somebody say 100? 100 subscribers, man. I set my expectation to hit 100 subscribers so low. I said by the end of December, bruh, we hit 100 subscribers, I believe, while I was asleep last night. Like, last night, it was at, like, 92. I woke up, it said 101. And I think we had, like, 106, 105 as I'm recording this video. I just wanted to say thank you all to the bottom of my heart. I started this YouTube, I tried this YouTube journey before on the other channel I have called Shamar Ryan. And that channel has about 132 subscribers or whatever, but those were people, like, I walk up to just trying to self-promote and, you know, just advertise it's just people that had no interest in, in what i was subscribing you know um not subscribing on they just they didn't have no interest in what i was doing at the time what I, I wasn't doing what i'm doing now before on that channel but it wasn't organic or natural or anything like that it just kind of like somebody like yeah i support you but they don't bother to click on any video or whatever the fact that i started a new channel for the ground up and I've been doing this for about a month or two now, and I have 100 subscribers. I am genuinely happy. And this is a natural, organic, you know, um, interactions with you all. This video might be a little lengthy, but whatever. But anyway, it's one particular video, I believe, is the CV2 Breads e -E -L -V -T, the one that kind of looks like a Yeezy. It's a sock runner, and I'm kind of shocked that that video is the one that's taking off. I thought maybe the Red Pills, um, the Verano videos is actually, um, is actually taking off. And I've had a few couple of comments on there. People are saying, you know, saying, um, hey, thank you. You've you've helped me make a decision on buying the shoes with this review. Or someone has said, hey, um, I wanted to get these, but unfortunately, I don't know whether to go a half size up or down or something like that, whatever, whatnot. I'm just happy that my videos can you know support the brand and and help people make a decision or not if they want to you know rock with the brand or not so i'm genuinely i'm genuinely happy about that you know so since saya this channel has pretty much been pumping out number saya content why not make the 100 subscriber special a saya re shoe review video i just did this four days ago with the uh, with the Simpson, the D1Y Simpson Lowe's. If you haven't seen a review on the Simpson D1Y Lowe's, make sure you check that out. And you know, I'm rocking my side gear, you feel me? I did a review on a jacket like this with a baseball cap. If you want to see that um, that review too, I'll put the card up right here. It's exactly the same jacket, but with a different colorway. This is also Saya. And guess what? Wham! <laughs> Wham! That kind of hurt a little bit my knee, but Got the Nuke Ants, the Nuke Ant Infernos with the, you know what I'm saying, with the, the Python skin on it, you feel me? Glow in the dark Python, you feel me? If you want to check that review out, I'll put a card up. All right, y'all, I am back. I get tired now with the baby sometimes. Got a four-month-year-old, just had her back in August 13th or whatever and whatnot. If I don't respond back in a timely manner, if you see that the camera is like off from what it was than the previous time, I mean, I had to leave, get up and take care of her, etc. If I don't respond to your comments, you know, and it takes hours at a time, I'm probably catching up on lost sleep. But um, right now you should see a video that's probably started playing already or whatever, because I don't want this video to be too super long because I know people's attention spans are short and I don't have background music. But it's a video of me typing my name in from your point of view. You find me on YouTube. You click on my video. You see a review on a shoe. And then you want to know, how do I get that shoe? That shoe is dope as fire. Well, I'm going to show you that in every description, even the description on this video, how to get the shoe. So you can see me showing that it's in the description on each video or whatever. Boom. I'm going to go to uh, to Instagram. I'm going to type in Saya underscore collective. Boom. I'm on his page. On, to the top right on Instagram, on anyone's profile, you should see a bell. If the notifications for that person is turned on, you'll see a check within the bell, centered. So you will see me showing the notifications, showing that they're all blue, meaning that they're turned on. I will turn them off to show what it looks like turned off, and I'll turn it back on, and they're going to ping blue, uh, or just be blue, to show you that they're on. And then at the bottom, you'll see live notifications. It should say all live notifications. So whenever Saya posts something, 
boom, you will get a notification on your phone. Just swipe your status bar down because some people, you know, iPhone ring and can't sound off of nothing, especially if it's on silent. So if you get a ping or whatever, whatnot, and it says Sci Collective just made a post to share the reel, watch it. That way you can be up to date and you can know. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna click on one of his reels. It should be the Galaxy Cross Trail reels. I'm gonna go to his website because it said in the description on the reels that they he has a few sizes left. I'm gonna go check his website first. Not comment, go check his website first. You'll see that it's a few sizes left. I think they had a 10 and a 7 left, you know, and he still have um the Veranos on there too, or whatever. Um, I have a review up on the Veranos. I put a car right there if you want to see that. V video's doing well, by the way. Thank you all. It's at 1.1k. But um, but yeah, that's how you know. If any video that's on any shoe that's any shoe that I put up in the video that you want, if you do not see it on the website, that means the shoe is no longer available. It's no longer available. But anyway, I hope that helped you all out. I wasn't trying to be sarcastic or butthole or anything like that, whatever, whatnot. You just got to slow down. I know you want to hurry up like, damn, that's fire. You just want to hurry up and grab the shoe. I feel you a thousand percent. I was there. I only been buying his shoes for two months. And I almost got I almost got 40 pair. Trust me. I know how you feel. But anyway, we got the Chicago Briggs D1 Wise. There you go. Side collector D1 Wise Chicago Breads. This is the typical box. So boom. Patent leather all the way around. You got oh, um the midsole is like an off-white cream. I thought it was dirty at first. Nah, that's just how the shoe is. And if you see the laces that was in here, they're the same color as this. That's just how the shoe's made. You got a rib, the traditional side of your bottom sole. Patent leather all the way around, all the way even on the diamond stitching. The inside of the shoe is all leather and the sole is leather and the sole is removable. These laces are not the original laces that come over here. These are the dead vulture um, somewhere in America laces that could be found on his website. If they're not there, that means they're sold out. So the unique thing about this shoe is this is the this is the right side, right? You see that the mid part is, is uh, white patent leather. This is the left side. See? The left side is in the middle is black patent leather. And the inward part is white, just like this one. And then this side, the inward part, and this side have this side. Yep. They fit true to size. They're pretty comfortable or whatever, whatnot. I have wide flat feet, and they I, I'm a true 10, and these true tens fit me well. They was on the Cyber Monday sale, so they're no longer available. He has removed the Cyber Monday and Black Friday tab um, from the site. So um, unless he come out with a remix, you won't be able to get these no more unless it's dead stock. I would not pay no more than two some for these shoes because that's how much it was in it. Don't, um, the don't trust the price of sale. Don't let nobody gyp you off of these, you know, off sites or whatever and whatnot. But yeah, I'm going to let this video play out so it won't be too long. If you have a brand or anything like that, that you would like me to support or whatever, whatnot, drop in the comment section below. If you have a YouTube channel like me that you're trying to build up, drop in the comment section below. Even if I don't find none of your videos interesting, I will let them play out so you can get the full, full view account and I will comment so we have a better chance of getting put out to the algorithm. Support usually don't come on the grind to success. Support usually comes when you get to success. Let's change that notion, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on the gram. I only have but a few followers, so don't follow to unfollow. It's a noticeable change, and I have the tools to see who unfollow me or whatever, whatnot. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on um on on TikTok if you like the game. Follow me on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I, I attend the game and I, I attend the live stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. But yeah, peace. Thanks for the hundo. As stated early on in the video. When you get the shoes, they come with two different type of laces. One is an off-white and one is black. Hit on with the lace swap. Hit on with the lace swap. If you want these laces, they are available on the site. If you do not see them, that means they're probably sold out. But which one you like better? My wife liked the white laces better. As you see, the outside of this one is black and the inside of the other one is black. So basically, the laces that have the off-whites, I replace them with the white laces. And the laces that have the black laces, I replace them with the black laces. Which is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section. And then for the right side, 
the outside part is white and the inside part, the left side is white as well. It's a cool shoe, very cool. No cap, I'm starting to see what my, ah, my wife mean. The white laces do look better. I'm at to buy some more of these. Here's the right side, and as you can see, look at that patent leather. Nicely stitched. Got the off-white shoestrings. I ain't gonna lie, I thought the shoestrings was dirty at first, but that's just how it is. And then on the midsole is an off-white. No cap, these are fire. Look how the light is reflecting on the patent leather. Mmm. Then you got the left side. It's black. Beautiful black patent leather. Hit him with the Mitch match with swap tic tac. On the back side, you can notice the difference, right? So you see how this is the in inward part of the shoe. And on the right side here, this is the outward part of the shoe. Now you can see. Normally, this should be on this side, right? No, they were made like that purposely, and that's what makes them unique. Then you got the beautiful patent diamond stitching on the back, patent leather. Drop a couple of bars for me in the comment section. Here are both for the inward part of the shoe. Here's the outward part. Like a completely different shoe, don't it? Fire. So on my right here, I have a retro 11 bread. Then you see on this side, it's the Saya pattern breads. So this is patent leather, and then this is patent leather. This is the side patent leather. Now, no cap. I know I got a lot of side shoe review videos on my channel, right? And y'all gonna say, oh, you're a fanboy, such and such. No, I just keep it a buck 50, you feel me? The patent leather on this shoe, on the side shoe, feels way better than the patent leather that's on the Jordan. No cap, all around. This whole shoe is patent leather except for the tongue and obviously the midsole and the sole. Then it's leather. It's leather inside. And the soles are leather. Mm-hmm.